morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Happy weekend. Oh, this was a long, long ass week, and I am exhausted. It looks like it's going to rain, and I'm tired. I'm tired. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining me on my vloggy vlog vlog, my weekend vlog. My weekend has just begun. Um, do you guys like my little sticker? We did a fishing party today. We talked about sharks and we let the kids do like little fishing games and they got stickers and someone gave me their stickers. So that's why I've got a sticker on me right now. But anyway, I am headed home. Um, videos that I need to record this weekend. Um, an updated what is in my gym shower caddy. And other than that, maybe some candle reviews that I have to record, but that's pretty much it. Um, other, oh, and my Shake It Off with Angela series I have to record. I'm excited, you guys. I really didn't weigh myself um, every single day like I've you know, been used to doing. I kind of put my scale away and I haven't really stepped on it this week. So it's kind of like a big surprise. It'll be interesting to see what all happens. And yeah, so I am almost home right now and I will check in a little bit later with you guys. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you what I'm burning. I came home, recorded some videos and lit all of my candles. So here we have Bora Bora. I believe you say this as Minori or Manoi Pearl. I'm not sure, but it smells delicious. And then in my bedroom, um, I'm burning by Kringle Candle Nantucket Rose. I'm burning a large one and a smaller one. The smaller one needed to be foiled, so that is why you see the foil. We were having some tunneling issues, but oh my gosh, you guys, it smells heavenly in here. And in the filming room, I have Summer Breeze by Village Candle. I've got the Illumilid on it, and it's been a nice, clean, even burn so far, and I love the label. I am also burning Orange Blossom by Colonial Candle. And then we have Goose Creek Candle in Citrus of Kauai. This is the Passport to Paradise Collections, burning nice and even, no problems whatsoever. And then also by Goose Creek, I just started Moroccan Waters. Um, it is starting to pool out. Like I said, I literally just lit it um, and it's doing great so far. And tomorrow morning, I will introduce you to Tommy and Timmy, the tomato plants. Hi everyone. So I've just been kind of hanging out. Um, I let all of my candles pull out and then I blew all of them out because I decided I wanted to go for a walk with Snooki. Um, I didn't take her out yet today just because I've been kind of busy, but um, I recorded one video, I edited it, I did Periscope, I watched some Netflix, and now I'm just going to take her for a walk. Um, I have to mail a Post Crossings postcard, so it's just going to be a little one, probably like just a mile or just under a mile, nothing big, no big whoop, just something to get out, but... I'm kind of excited to weigh myself tomorrow, like I said before. Um, so yeah, so let's go on a walk. It is beautiful outside. Once again, but a little bit windy. But the sun is out and it's not so cold as it was before. Hello everybody. Oh, it is bright and there are flies by me. Um, happy Saturday. It is Saturday and I am out for a walk with Miss Snooky Louise. It is a beautiful day at 6.30 in the morning. I'm hoping to possibly go to the farmer's market later on today, but I wanted to take a walk and I wanted to take a walk where we usually don't go. And we haven't been here since early spring I think um, but yeah it is absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna hold my camera over my eyes because it is the Sun is bright it's absolutely beautiful here um, so yeah I think I have about a mile down I'm gonna try to do a two mile walk today and yeah that's what we're doing so I will catch you guys later on today
What you doing? Hi, Bubba. Hi. You ready to go home? Come on. You're not going to go to the bathroom again, are you? everyone so I got back from my walk and I changed and I showered and I feel nice and fresh and clean um, so today basically what's happening is I'm drinking water um, today basically what is happening is my mom wants to take me for a pedicure I've never in my 40 years had a pedicure I used to get my nails done all the time um, but I don't know. I don't like feet. I don't like other people touching my feet. I don't like looking at my own feet. I don't like looking at others, you know, finger toenails and oh, it's just, you know, it, it gives me the ooby jubies. So anyway, we are going to do that today. It's kind of nerve wracking a little bit, but I do want to get it done. Um, I heard that after you do have pedicures, you know, people who do have sore feet, um, it helps because I'm sure I have like, what do you call those things on the bottom of your feet? Like calluses or whatever. Ooh, I don't want them scraping anything. I know legally they can't, um, scrape with a blade anymore. They used to actually scrape with a blade, but now they just use the emery board or some kind of board or whatever, where they like shave everything off. Ooh. Anyway, so I'm going to go do that. After that, um, I'm probably either going to do laundry. I need to run to the grocery store and see what I'm going to make. I still don't know what I'm going to make for the week. I know I have turkey burgers in there, so I'm thinking about putting them in pita pockets and making like a little pita pocket turkey burger with um, tomatoes and vegetables and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner or well, actually, those that's what I'm going to have for dinner. I don't know what I'm going to make for lunch. Something easy and fast and simple, hopefully. And I don't know, maybe chicken. I don't know. I'm going to go to the grocery store, see what's on sale, and I'm hoping that I can cook it in my crock pot. But I just finished recording my Shake It Off with Angela, and I'm excited about my weight loss so far. Total has been 35.8 pounds since April 18th. So... I'm excited about that. Um, I have to do some candor reviews today too, hopefully. If I have time, I don't know. I just, I feel like there is not enough time during the week to get all I need to get done, done. Um, but next week, I do have off work on Friday, so that will be nice. Uh, I think, yeah, Friday is the third, and then the fourth is Saturday, so... That will be nice. Um, I'll be able to get a lot accomplished then and all of that jazz. So I am just going to run to the bank real quick um, before I leave for my feet. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on. Hello everyone. It is Saturday and it is 5.30. I have not eaten dinner yet. I just decided to go to a different grocery store because a lot of the items that I was looking for this week for my meal prep were on sale there. So I got almost everything for $25, which usually my meal preps consist of probably around $60 um, for the week. So that's really good. Got a lot of my vegetables. I picked up watermelon this time because you guys, I'm usually addicted to watermelon. Like it's bad. Um, so I'm probably going to be going to the other grocery store. I'm guessing tomorrow just because, um, of the fact that, uh, I think their pork tenderloin is going to be on sale tomorrow. Um, so I'm thinking about getting that. Hopefully I was going to make chicken, but I think I'm just going to go for the pork tenderloin anyway and call it a fucking day. Um, but oh my gosh, you guys, it's getting kind of hot. Um, okay. Tomato talk. So I'm going to show you guys those tomatoes in a second. 
My problem is, is that the one bucket, um, well, Tommy, Timmy is doing great. Tommy, the tomato plant, seems like the soil is super dry and I have been watering that son of a bitch and they're both getting the same amount of sunlight. Um, I think I'm going to water them double tonight before I go to bed. Usually I wait until the sun goes down. Um, you know, before I water just because I don't want them to burn out because it's kind of warm here, you know, so you can see I'm, I'm a glisten. I'm a glisten of natural summer, natural sunlight. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. So I am getting ready to go to the grocery store because, um, like I said, I went to the grocery store yesterday, but I only bought stuff that was on sale and I'm going to be going to Festival Foods for my meat for the week. But how do you guys like my hair? Um, I didn't straighten it today. I actually used a new product in my hair. By the way, I don't have eyeliner on and I can definitely tell. Um, I have been, or I just used, it's called Beach Blonde Sea Waves and it's by John Frieda. Um, it is, it says Sea Waves Sea Salt Spray. It texturizes for a carefree tousled styles. Uh, windswept waves um, or PC perfection. So that is what this looks like here. And I'm, I, I'm kind of digging it just because of the fact that um, I straighten my hair every single day. And sometimes, um, you know, you want that heat off. This is actually air dried hair. That is what this looks like here. And Probably by the end of the day, I will definitely look like a poodle if I don't already. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. It's not even all the way dry. This is like halfway dry. So I don't know. And I did stick a little bit of hairspray on it just because I don't want it to uh, get too far out there. Because usually when I, like if I blow dried this mess, my hair would literally be out to here. It would be like, it's like the texture of an African American person's hair. Um, it's crazy. But anyway, I'm not saying that that's bad. It's just that I like my hair flat because I figure the bigger the hair on me, the fatter the face, my look, the fatter my face looks. So anyway, so I am going to be going right now. I'll be coming back and cooking and cleaning and doing all that jazz. And I need to film one video while I need to do a voiceover edit for, um, the beach holiday candle from Yankee. I love that candle. So I'm going to be doing the review for that. Um, and you guys have probably already seen the review cause I'm going to post it this week. So I ended up putting my hair in a ponytail because my hair, you guys got so frizzy. It was crazy. It literally like, cause it wasn't dry all the way before when I was recording. Now it was dry and like my hair is coarse and frizzy. And because I put that product in and a little bit of hairspray, it was too late for me to straighten it. So I'm wearing it up in a ponytail. And it is beautiful outside today, you guys. I cannot wait to go for my walk later on today. Hoping it doesn't get too hot, but I do plan on walking tonight, um, hopefully two to three miles before bedtime and getting that exercise in. Guys, so just got done uh, going to the grocery store and getting what I needed. I was planning on making pork roast with a shit ton of vegetables, but they didn't have any pork roasts at all in the store. So. I just got the um, Jenny O Italian turkey meat. I'm just gonna brown that up and put the seasonings in that I would with the pork roast. I mean, it's still meat, so that should work. Now I'm just waiting for the Dollar Tree to open because I need um, some more dish soap and stuff like that. Um, I also need some sponges, not sponges, like those um, things that you use to clean out water bottles and stuff. They carry them here and like I said, they're only a buck, so they're pretty cheap. But um, I guess they open up at nine o'clock and it is 8.57 now. So I'm just gonna wait here for a little bit and uh, go into the Dollar Tree. I like that pink palm olive dish soap. Um, I don't know, whatevs. And then I'm gonna see what else they, have there because sometimes they have some you know good stuff um but yeah 
Looks like it's gonna be a hot one today. I am hoping that it just doesn't get too hot. Uh, oh, so I wanted to address this with you guys. You know that woman who was like pretending to be black? She was pretending to be African-American, but she was really born Caucasian. Well, now she's gonna have her own reality show. I was watching Wendy Williams this morning and she said that and I thought, oh my God. Plus, I guess Donald Trump is running for president, which I'm sure this is all old news to you guys, but really, come on, so ridiculous. Hey guys, so I am at Dairy Queen right and cooked and everything like that. I still have to do laundry, but I am going to get a small chocolate ice cream cone dipped in crunch. I didn't go out to eat at any restaurants or anything like that, so I really didn't have a cheat meal. But uh, my favorite with going to Dairy Queen is definitely their chocolate cone dipped in crunch. So I figured I would get a small and go with that. How can we help you? Yes, can I get a small chocolate cone dipped in crunch, please? One small chocolate cone dipped in crunch. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, your total comes to 240 and we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Oh my God. Mmm, yummy. You guys, it's so good. Hey everyone, so it is like five o'clock here and um, as you can see, my hair has made it up in a bun because I just got so hot and exhausted um, and humid and I don't like my hair like hanging down when I'm warm. But anyway, um, so I'm doing laundry right now. I recorded or I should say did voiceovers for two candle reviews. Expect a lot more candle reviews on my channel. Uh, just because I feel like I'm kind of lacking in the candle review department. Like I'm doing a lot of hauls. I'm doing my Shake It Off with Angela, which is great. But I want to get back to, you know, doing some candle reviews and stuff. I haven't really done a lot in a while. Um, you may see two candle reviews in one day, possibly. Um, it just all depends on what I can all get done, but usually I just post one video a day. Um, so anyway, I just got done watching that one movie with Jennifer Lopez, The Boy Next Door. Eh, I don't know. I thought they could have made it a little bit more suspenseful. It was too much like I of a prediction. Like I already knew what was going to happen. Um, so I don't know. The guy was really hot though, you know, just saying. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm taking like a lot of my guinea pig pictures down, you guys. I took pictures of all the fosters that I've ever had. And I will say this, I'm not real sure if I'm going to be fostering um, in the near future. I do wanna get back to fostering guinea pigs, but like right now, literally, this room is still not where I want it to be. Um, let me just show you guys real quick. So this corner of the room is all guinea pig supplies and the cage down there too. You can see the, uh, over there by the chair there, you can see the grids. This is all guinea pig fleece, all guinea pig supplies that I need for the pigs. Um, and it's just kind of like taking up the room. And what I want to do is I want to build a smaller cage. I also have a computer in there that I need to figure out what I want to do if I want to set it up and use a home computer because I don't think it has wireless on it. It's just, it's a mess. And I have a headache. I had a cup of coffee today and afterwards, all of a sudden I got a headache and I'm sure it has to, you know, do something with the caffeine, has to be something with the caffeine because I just, I don't usually drink coffee anymore. I'm starting to because I started feeling tired, so I'm like, I got to drink some coffee. But anyway, um, so yeah, so right now I am 
uploading that video right there, um, getting it all set and ready to go on YouTube and scheduling it. And other than that, I'm going to be watching, um, oh, what's that show called? Fifty Shades of Grey. I cannot believe I forgot what the freaking movie was called. Anyway, um, my youngest daughter just saw it and she thought that it was good. Everybody else that I've ever talked to, though, said that it sucked. So I figured I might as well watch it just to say that I watched it because I really don't have any inkling to watch it right now. Not inkling, but you know what I mean. Like, I don't really need to watch it because I read all the books and, like, it was pretty raunchy. But I heard that the movie isn't raunchy at all. So, I don't know. We'll see. I heard that they were poor in their acting capabilities and um, the whole movie just kind of sucked. But we will see. So... Yeah, all my candles are lit, and I think I'm going to Periscope right now, so I'll catch you guys all later. So you guys, this is Timmy and Tommy. Timmy is on the right, and Tommy is on the left. Look at Timmy, you guys. Timmy always has so much water and it like never goes down and Tommy always doesn't have enough water. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. The plants are growing but I'm not getting any tomatoes in. You know, it's July 1st. I don't know how long this stuff takes. If you guys know anything about tomato plants, please comment down below because I am at a loss for words. Anyway, don't forget to check out the last part of my vlog for all of your Snapchats. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great weekend. Help! I need help with my tomato! Oof, what a run! Holy moly, it's hot out! Time to celebrate! Fitness is fun. Hope you have a warm, sunny, healthy day. Everyone can see your anger is misplaced and I'm gone.